A long dream it of having a videographer who will always be with you everywhere you go. It seems I have found a device that will replace such a person and help you shoot videos with your participation without any external assistance. Friends, hello everyone! Take a look at the tech compact and lightweight helper for filming videos I have for review today. The weight of this gimbal called Insta360 Flow is only 400 grams and it will not take up much space in your bag or pocket, but in terms of capabilities it's like a Swiss army knife. This device will help you shoot yourself without involving other people, create stunning action shots, panoramas, 3D photos, time shift, motion time lapse and various cinematics effects like dolly zoom and much more. And the Insta360 app will further unlock the potential of this gimbal and help you create creative shots even without professional shooting skills. What interested me most about this device it is ability to track human movement during filming. After all, how do bloggers usually film themselves? You need to set up a tripod, mount the camera on it, set up the frame, stand or sit in certain position and try not to move much during recording to stay with the frame. And of course it really hampers movement. This device greatly simplifies our task. Just put it on the tripod and activate the tracking function with a special button. The AI algorithms in the gimbal instantly recognize and track the person movements. It's very convenient and really frees up our hands because we can move freely within the frame without worrying about going beyond its borders. Moreover, tracking works both on the selfie camera and on the main one, which is located on the back of the phone and its recording quality is much better than that of the selfie camera. And another drawback of the selfie camera is that on some smartphones its focus is fixed at a distance of about half meter, this distance of an outstretched arm and everything beyond that may be out of focus and slightly blurred. This is another reason to shoot with the camera located on the back of the smartphone. I even shoot stories for Instagram in this way simply by turning the phone towards myself. So in many modern smartphones besides the main model there are in an ultra wide and telephoto lens and you can also use them because tracking works on all cameras. Moreover it works in all models resolution as well as a vertical and horizontal orientation of the phone. And to start and stop recording without touching the screen and without the help of others, we can use gesture control. Raise your open palm for a few seconds and the smartphone will signal to us the three flashes that recording has started. We can stop it the same way and the flash will light up twice. This can also be useful if your hands are not very clean and you don't want to soil the phone and gimbal. To manually set the tracking object you need to outline it on the screen. You can also do this with a button on the back of the handle. Then if there are a person in the frame the AI will automatically capture them. Tracking works very well with almost any objects even small ones in size. And to make it work even better enable the performance function in the settings. In this case the stabilization of the smartphone camera is turned off but tracking is improved. By the way, even if you disappear from the AI fields of view, when you reappear tracking will resume automatically. And the ability to track allows you to shoot really diverse and creative shots which is harder to achieve when you shoot alone. For example, with the help of the thread in the handle you can attach the gimbal in some unusual place and get even more diverse angels knowing for sure that you will be in the frame. Really, this gimbal can become your personal videographer. Are you shooting a cooking blog? Turn on tracking and you won't miss the necessary moment of cooking. Want to capture an important sports event? Insta360 will shoot everything while you are busy with your favorite activity. Traveling alone and no one to film you? Put the gimbal on a flat surface and shoot yourself anywhere. Speaking of design, everything is fine here. The gimbal is made of pleasant plastic. 
the build quality is excellent. Everything looks and feels quite solid. It's a cool idea to have a transparent body where you can see the boards, microchips and other elements. It's really interesting to look at. And you can also read the text that the manufacturer wrote in small print on the battery. At first I thought it was technical specification, but it turned out that the company wrote a small message, something like its mission. Quite an unusual idea. The controls are also interestingly designed. Instead of multitude of buttons scattered across the body, there is a circle where all the main buttons are concentrated. Power, record, smartphone orientation, joystick for controlling movement, and a special wheel for zooming and tilting the phone. A touch panel is built into the top half of the circle, and if you swipe your finger across it, you can switch between stabilization modes. There are four of them here, fully automatic, tracking mode, panoramic tracking and FPV mode, when the smartphone follows you every move. On the back of this handle there is another button that activates the tracking mode and if there is a person in the frame, the phone will immediately recognize them and track them. To unfold the gimbal, you need to rotate it with a little effort. At first I was afraid to apply force, thinking something might break, but over time I became confident that the gimbal is indeed well made and there is no need to fear damaging it. Additionally, there is a mounting point for a wireless microphone on the body, which is great that they have also thought about this. The smartphone itself attached to the gimbal using magnetic mounting. Plus, there are two Type-C ports on the body, one of the charging the gimbal itself and other for charging the phone. The built-in battery capacity is 2019 mAh and according to the manufacturer this is enough for up to 12 hours. However, I feel that this active use of the tracking function both the gimbal and the phone drain noticeably faster than without this function. There are uh, several options for the Insta360 flow configuration. Mine is a simple, a pouch, a handle attachment and a Type-A to Type-C cable. In general, this is not just a gimbal, but a real transformer. Firstly, we can place it on a table thanks to the folding tripod, which simply extends from the body. Secondly, we can increase its height using the telescopic pole and set the phone almost at eye level. At the same time, if we hold it on our hands, the unfolded gimbal acts as a selfie stick and we can hold the phone further away from ourselves to fit several people in the frame at once. And besides all this, there is a screw thread, so you can mount the gimbal on any fixture. For example, you could mount it on a tripod, raise your hands and get shots similar to those from a drone flyover. In general, all these features make this device suitable for a wide range of filming tasks, all in such a compact device. And what about the main function in the gimbal? Now you can see how it helps to stabilize shake during normal walking and even running. The difference is quite substantial and special attention deserve the properly Insta360 app. It's that this app that you can unlock the full functionality of the device and enjoy creating videos because it is everything you need for that. Firstly, there are automatic shooting settings for beginners as well as a manual settings for professionals. Secondly, there is a huge variety of tips, tricks and possibilities for creating content. There are even ready-made ideas for shooting and step-by-step -step instruction on how to implement them. This is very useful for beginners and can serve as a kind of starting point to them, after which they can come up with their own video concepts. Thirdly, there is a built-in video editor. You can create a video completely on your own or you can use auto editing which finds best moments in the footage and creates a video based on them. One thing I miss in the Insta360 app is the ability to shoot simultaneously with two cameras. Imagine, in addition to recording on the main model, you can could also simultaneously record on ultrawide or telephoto lens. These two files would be recorded separately in the phone's memory and then in post-production you could choose the best one. 
This feature is available in some video apps and I think it will be very relevant in the Insta360 app for even greater unleashing of the creative potential of this gimbal. Now let's go over the drawbacks. The first downside is that because the gimbal is quite compact, its handle is small. To improve grip you can use a case and extend the tripod which will enhance the convenience of working with the gimbal. If you place the gimbal on the tripod, it is limited in movement and you can tilt the phone too far up. I found this lacking when I tried to capture a building while being close to it and it didn't fit entirely in the frame. As an alternative, you can either hold the gimbal in your hands and tilt it upward or mount it on a tripod with this viewed head. Tracking doesn't work in 4K 60fps and there is no cinematic mode in the app. Perhaps this limitation is specific for my phone model, I will remind you that I have an iPhone 30 Pro. There is a delay in tracking, I also noticed that the gimbal slightly lags in tracking and fast moving objects are not always centered. The sensitive tracking settings reset to standard when returning to the main screen. Well guys, I like this gimbal, I don't know, maybe it is pleasant in design, the functionality, maybe something else, it is a technological and importantly useful gadget. Who is this device for? For those who like to shoot on their smartphone and for those who need tracking. This is a genuinely useful feature that opens up new possibilities for shooting oneself during travels, at sports events, when recording reviews, instruction and educational videos. I remind you that the link to the gimbal will be in the description and see you.